أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I would like to start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers Now let me just quote what Al-Imam Hussain alayhi salam said I revolted neither for wickedness nor for fame Verily I rose to seek reform in the nation of my grandfather namely the Messenger of Allah Nearly 1400 years have elapsed and still these words said by the master of the murders are still deeply ringing in the consciousness of humanity. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to Wisdom of Hussein, a series of episodes in which we will be elaborately talking about the different stages of Imam Hussein starting from his miraculous birthday and ending with his unique unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Now talking of Imam Hussein's birthday and martyrdom, it's reported in the books of history that Imam Hussein alayhi salam was born in the third year after Hijra and was murdered on the 10th of Muharram for the year 61 after Hijra. Al Imam Hussein alayhi salam was murdered by the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, the governor of Kufa during the caliphate of Yazid bin Muawiyah. Allah's curses be upon them both. Now talking of the great noble family to which Imam Hussein was born. Al Imam Hussein simply was born to a family known for its nobility, a family known for their equality, a family known for its compassion, for knowledge, for uh, loving, helping the elderly, and whatsoever. His grandfather was the Prophet of Islam. His mother was the Prophet's daughter, Fatima al Zahra, the mistress of the women of the world, and his father was the commander of the faithful Ali bin Abi Talib alayhi salam. So this is who was Imam Hussein, and this is where he was born. He was born to a family not for all these Islamic qualities, and Imam Hussein accordingly inherited all these Islamic principles from that family. Now, as it's narrated in the books of history that the period of time between the birth of Imam Hassan and the birth of Imam Hussein was six months and 10 days. Now, speaking of the miracles that produced at the birthday of Imam Hussein, a Shaykh al Saduq quotes from Safiya bint Abu Talib that when Al Imam Hussein was born, she was attending to Lady Fatima, Imam Hussein's mother, while the Prophet of Islam came and he asked Safiya, O oh, aunt, bring me my son. Safiya replied, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I have not yet purified the newborn. The Prophet of Islam surprisingly replied, Will you purify him? Rather, Allah, the exalted, has cleansed and purified him. This is one of the miracles. Another miracle that happened to Imam Hussein during his birthday, Al Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam narrates that it normally none, a woman's period of time, is of nine months, and that a baby born in six months can never survive, except for the Prophet Isa, the son of Mary, and Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The last miracle that produced at the birthday of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, here both Imam Sadiq and Imam al Rida alayhi salam have reported that when Imam Hussein was born, he had received no milk from any woman as an infant, even from his mother Fatima. Rather, said Imam al Sadiq, he would be brought to the Messenger of God, who would place his thumb in the child's mouth, and he would receive sustenance in this way that would tide him over for three days at a time. In this way, the flesh of Hussein and his blood has grown from the messenger's blood and flesh. And therefore, the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him and upon his pure family, has said that Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. Whoever hurts Hussein hurts me and whoever pleases Hussein pleases me. Now let me move on to a glimpse of Imam Hussein's martyrdom. Imam Hussein's martyrdom was predicted and the Prophet was foretold by Angel Gabriel that Imam Hussein will be killed right from the nation of the Prophet of Islam. And here Imam Sadiq alayhi salam says that even before his birth, it was well known that Imam Hussein alayhi salam would be martyred on the plains of Karbala. Al Imam Sadiq also continues saying, when Fatima alayhi salam became pregnant with Hussein, Angel Gabriel came to the Prophet of Islam and told him, Fatima will give birth to a son who will be murdered by your nation after you are dead. 
So Al Imam Al Sadiq alayhi salam continues saying that when Fatima became pregnant with Hussein alayhi salam, she was in a state of tribulation. And when he was born, she also was in a state of tribulation over his birth. The Imam continues saying, In this world, you will never see a mother in a state of tribulation over giving birth to her child, but she was upset by her knowledge that he will be murdered. In this regard, Al Imam Al Sadiq alayhi salam says, This verse was revealed for this regard. If I may read out to you this verse from the Holy Quran. We have enjoyed man to be kind to his parents. His mother has carried him in tribulation and bore him in tribulation and his gestation and weaning take 30 months. In the next episode by Allah's will, we will be talking about Imam Hussein's youth and the lessons that can be taken from the message and sacrifice of Imam Hussein. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten their appearance of the master of our time to interpret what Imam Hussein came for when he said that I desire to spread the values of good and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you today. Until we meet with a new episode, thank you very much indeed for joining us and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.